having a meet here to be able to come back in and put on some sort of a foot later on when I come back around and see whether I'm going to do a bead, a full bead around, or, or whether I'm going to just to keep blending a little further. I always leave a little bit extra here. And what I've got is a, an okay curve going on here. With the sample, it usually looks really good. But you want to harvest them late fall to mid winter, in my opinion. Um, because the water is pretty much out of the tree. So it's mostly the lignin in the tree holding it together. And that's more contact surface. Uh, the wetter the tree is, the greater the chance of the bark coming up. So it's more of when it's harvested rather than a type of wood. Um, okay?
level engaged and I cut the cutting edge. The way you think about anatomy is, is to start
you just go over the oil process. So on the lathe, you mop it on the back first. Um, and and I'm on the back before I turn it. Yeah. Okay. Now that I've turned it, I would put another coat on the back and a coat on the front. Sure. I will let it sit. I won't even bother wiping it. I just let it go in. Wiping it removes what I'm trying to do. And at that point, when I take this off, yeah. I will set it down and put one more coat on the top. So you don't actually leave it in the um, I don't put the natural edge, and the reason I don't put the natural edge is I like the look of the bark. I've done this, and this is why I back off a little bit. When you stick it in the varnishes, and then you pull it out, you've changed this bark so it, does, it looks awesome. classic. Okay? I mean, yeah, fire rights, what we are doing is putting a plastic film on it. But I don't like the looks of it on here, on the very edge. So that's the reason I don't do that. I don't look different. Any questions, comments, feedback? What do you want to throw at me? How about a hook tool or a ring tool? You can use all sorts of things on these things. <coughs> and you can um, just prefer this. I prefer to cut. A ring tool is going to cut nicely. A ring tool is going to cut nicely. Um, I used to do this, and I had a couple of discussions with people. Um, I have a scraper that used to belong to Kenny. That's his tall. It seriously is. It has, it has, you've seen that with the one Kenny had? Kenny used to get on top of the wave with the thing, and we used to watch her bump up and down. I've got that scraper. I re refer to it as my detail scraper. <laughs> and if you think about it, it, it really is. Because what you do is, you're overhanging the piece of metal this far, you're working this far back. All this movement doesn't give you that much movement here. But it's really wicked and hard enough to it. So, yeah, you can. Especially on that grain. It, it's a viable way to go. Can you, uh, one second, sir. Can you repeat your, uh,